everybody. Welcome back to the One Nation of Gamers Summer Circuit NA Qualifier number seven. I'm TJ, once again, joined by Chalky underscore HS. And we're about to jump into the third place match between LBYS and Hot Forum. The King of Smork versus the King of Anti Smork. Who will be victorious? Yeah, definitely a difference in styles uh, in both of these players. As there was last game, I mean. We saw, I guess there was a Hunter from Pesty's side, but in this in this matchup, it's polar opposites. You got Freeze Mage, Patron Warrior, and Druid mm -hmm. versus three of the most aggressive decks in the game. Yep. We'll see. How does Freeze Mage match up against Agra Paladin? It's a matchup I'm not too familiar with. Uh, it's about 50-50, so I've played it a lot from both sides. Uh, it... Intuitively, the Freeze Mage does really well. You can stabilize. You've got a lot of health gain. You've got the Ice Block, which is actually quite relevant because unlike Hunter, uh, when a Paladin pops your Ice Block, they don't have just a hero power to pop it again the next turn or kill you the next turn. Yeah. And um, so you've got a lot of stabilization. You got board clear. You have um, health gain. All that. All that good stuff. But you also have a very large hand size, which plays very well into divine favor. And uh, that's pretty much the saving grace Agro Paladin has, is give them enough cards and they will find a way to kill you. Alright, well, game number one is going to be Hot Forms Druid taking on LBYS's Hunter. Ooh, it's a pretty ugly start for LBYS and a pretty nice start for Hot Form. He needs to find a little bit more, but... I mean, both players could easily still take this. Double Kill Command is ugly to see in your opening hand, but it gives you a lot of reach with very little counterplay. That it does. He needs to find something to play on three besides a Kill Command, though. Yeah. Oh, the old Double Shade. Double Shade comes out. Turn three, Double Shade. And so far, I mean, he's going to have to see a swipe next turn as well, so... The news doesn't get any better for LBYS. And so far, both of his Druid opponents have had that Innervate, have had that Wild Crow. The thing is, Hot Form's pretty much out of cards. I mean, combo in your hand against uh, Hunter is... Uh, it's pretty good. I, I feel like you should also attack with this Shade this turn. Yep, so he will. Um, LBYS can clear these off, or he can just develop Shredder. As opposed to Shredder's the more proactive approach. Um... You're right, he doesn't have much stuff going for him, but he, he basically knows okay. if he goes long enough, he's got combo to win. Ancient of Lore was just about the best thing he could have drawn. He could just force of nature down this shredder. Yes. Ideally, something small pops out. Worst case, a doomsayer pops out. Or a millhouse. Millhouse would be pretty bad, too. Succubus. I guess they'd be the same as, yeah, four, a four-power minion, basically. Ah. Uh, That's annoying, also. Yeah, he's going to kill it off. So, now, I, I would say, I'll be why I asked, yeah, probably has to kill command that. I'm going to set up the Freezing Trap. So, he's starting his comeback. Freezing Trap's going to hit Ancient Allure, most likely, which you're, you're fine with. But, I mean, Hot Form's refilling his hand. Yeah. Finds a second Force of Nature, all of a sudden he's threatening combo. Yeah, and, and there's, a, there's a taunt, there's a removal, like, it's... It was looking okay. I, he can, uh, yeah. He will deny the Innervate this turn, and he also denies the Force of Nature. Very big deal, or else I think he'd actually just be dead, almost. Not He wouldn't be dead, but it'd be very close. It'd be 17. Yeah. So. But Hot Form is going to put him to 14, and now, yeah. He's dead. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he's dead. Mm -hmm. All right. On to the next one. Yeah, just going to play out his stuff. Uh, if the juggle hits, I think he would have kill commanded, but this way he's just going to bow, go all face, and hope that Hot Form was bluffing, I guess. Uh, he's not going to hit face, I suppose. I would have liked to see him in face. Makes sense. And if, yeah. 
That'll do it for hot form with the second force of nature. LBYS is. <laughs> <laughs> Why me? Well, swipe would have ended the game too. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, that's a pretty tough hand to go up against. Mm -hmm. It looked like he might have been able to start his comeback, but hot form did have the ancient of lore as well on seven to refill his hand and. Um. He did have to fight for board with the first force in nature, but he did have the second one, so yeah. a little bit rough. Hopworm is going to take a one-game lead, and now LBYS is think, thinking, what went wrong? Yesterday I had such a good run. I, he 3-0'd yeah. his – he w came into the top four with a 9-0 streak. Like he had 3-0'd his last three opponents. Yeah, and I mean for him it probably feels like, you know, he qualified for the last one and then lost, I believe, twice in a row. And the same thing could potentially happen this time. It's like flashbacks, and you're just like, why? Like, why me? Yeah. How it's like he's kept an ooze just for the two drop. Just the blood fin ooze. <laughs> that works pretty well. You need to just apply pressure early on against the freeze mage. So. Sometimes the 3 2 is good enough, TJ. Yeah. Yeah, probably just going to see coin ping from hop form, line them up nicely into the frost bolt next turn. Standard stuff. So the keys here for the freeze mage are definitely to just control the state of the board early on, not let it get out of hand. Uh, you want to draw into your secrets early on, uh, like your ice barriers early on, to buy you time in order to uh, sort of, once again, keep controlling the board as you get into like the mi middle stages of the game. Still a yep. little bit of a tough matchup, though, because Hunters can put you on a clock no matter what happens. Yeah, the Animal Companion pickup was really important. Um, I think he could have Freezing Trapped and developed Knife Juggler this turn instead of bowing it off. But yeah, Freezing Trap, basically the best you're going to get in this matchup is hitting an Acolyte of Pain or a Loot Hoarder or something like that. Uh, so wouldn't be surprised to just see a Freezing Trap this turn. Nope. No freezing traps. It would have denied a draw, which I think would have liked. Uh, but he's just going to apply as much pressure as possible. He did have to give up the three damage bow hit to do this, though. Yeah. And he does have Arcane Golem next turn, so and he can pile on the damage. Hopworm still has not drawn into Ice Barrier or Mad Scientist. Yeah. He found Ice Block. But he's got to find time to play it while also controlling yeah. the board. Maybe he has to play it this turn and then ping off the the Wolf Rider. But that is well, still staring at at least six damage. Ice Block is much worse than Ice Barrier in this matchup uh, because because of the Hunter and Hero Power, basically. If they take you to two and pop your block, you have to then either heal up, play another block, or kill them. Or else it just doesn't matter. And so... The, the block very often just doesn't matter. And, like, yeah. uh, LBYS is going to pop it next turn. Regardless. Okay. He's like, going to pop it perfectly. And, oh, no, yes. no, no, not quite perfectly. Well, it might as well be. He's going to set him to two, which yeah. is the, the relevant amount. And a heal bot's not going to be enough. Like, because you can't heal bot and freeze the board. Well, he could if he drew, um... Wait. What? Oh, no. Uh, oh, no. Very large mistake there from LBYS. Set him to six instead of two. Uh, Hot form's like, mm, yeah. hunters. And, and, and now, well, this gives this is huge, because now Hot form can just flame strike. Hot, Hot form would have lost this game if LBYS played that correctly. Because he'd be at two and have to heal bot. He would 100% need to heal bot. And then he'd have no way to mitigate the damage on the board enough. Ice Lance wouldn't be enough. But instead now, LBYS is going to get heal botted next turn. The heal bot's going to get freezing trapped. And suddenly, like, Hot Form's in a fine spot. As long as he heal bots this turn. <laughs> That's the main thing. Uh, he, I would say he's definitely going to do it now. He had the option to Archmage Antonitis and play a little risky, but knows better than that. And now, yeah, you have to kill command the, the heal bot. 
So wow. qu- maybe he played a-, a little too quickly and didn't realize that the Leox would buff the Arcane Golem and thought he was going to take him to two anyway. Yeah, you, you could see he kind of like thought about it, and then he played the Arcane Golem, saw it was at six, and and still went for it. And yeah, I mean, I think you're right. It was just kind of like an automated thing where he was like, "Oh yeah, Arcane Golem does four, plus Abusive Sergeant six, and then here powers eight. But but a brutal mistake because now he's on the verge of just losing the game. Yeah. Hot nice. four needs to draw into some. Alex Strauss is going to help a lot. Ice barrier as well. Alex and ice bear here, and he's going to doomsayer so that he can't develop a board next turn. He could either Alex his opponent. He could Alex himself. He could just arc mage and start up. You know, doing that. So many options here. Yeah, denies a lotheb. Oh my gosh! It's like, what the heck? Chucky, that that was that was a free free win. It was. It, it was like the best you could ask for. And he said no thank you. Well, Hotform did open himself up to uh kill command, quick shot, or like quick shot, quick shot into hero power this turn. I feel like he did play this a little unnecessarily risky with this last turn. Like, he, he could have just Alexed himself or Lotheb plus something. Uh, kind of cutting it close here. That is a nice bear, not a block, so. Now that he gets the health, he's much safer, though. And there's a second block. Um, there's a freezing up, so he can't really attack with that Archmage. So you're saying there's a chance. Uh, I think he could afford to just, yeah, just fireball that, that Lotha seems terrible, but you're at 13 facing down three. Um, I suppose there's a chance that, yeah, LBYS's cards were perfect with, like, a quick shot and you could die, but it's so low. Uh, he's got to push eight this turn, put him to five. He can Alex himself up. Still not getting that ice block down, though. The yeah, Alex is himself. He's staring at 8 damage the next eight. turn. Yep. So he would need 7, which is quick shot into something no matter what. He can even ice lance off uh, one of the two ones to stop it from damaging him that turn. Uh, he could just play ice block. Uh, he could go, like, ice block, frost nova, ice lance face... Make sure LBYS can't proc him unless he top decks, and then if he does top deck you, you uh, Alex yourself. It's definitely still a complicated situation for Hotform, which kind of stems back from the fact that he was literally about to win. Uh, LBYS was like he was so ahead in this game, and so even that he gave Hotform a chance, and it's still not over. And I don't think Hopform really got to think through that turn enough. Let's see what he goes for. Fireball's a 2-1. Doesn't really matter what <laughs> just becomes a fireball again. Yeah. He's going to overdraw whatever comes out next turn. He's going to Ice Lance face. So this is basically what I was thinking of. Oh, oh he I burns think... his... Yeah. And so that's actually... He won't overdraw now, but it costs him a fireball. And Jackie, this is top level competitive Hearthstone we're witnessing here. <laughs> it, it's it's pretty important for him though that LBYS didn't draw quick shot. Like a quick shot here would have actually made this into a game. I can imagine if he drew quick shot into juggler, hot form suddenly has to Alex himself. You're pushing seven next turn, he's down to eight, heal bot's already out of the way. Your opponent's not pressuring you, but now Well wait a second. Oh, he can't he can't kill off his own mad scientist. Yeah, he would need something to deal with this Alex. Uh, but imagine if he drew Freezing Trap. I, I think Hotform would lose if he drew Freezing Trap. Because you, then you can't kill him next turn. You're at one. You've used both Ice Blocks. You've used Alex. You've used Healbot. Pretty odd stuff. I mean, I feel like Hotform could have Alexed himself instead and been... Pretty secure in his victory. But he manages to pick it up, so. 
TJ with a furrowed look. He's got the furrowed brows. He's just like, hmm. Well, Hot Form mm -hmm. takes a 2-0 to zero lead in this series. Just needs to win with Patron Warrior. Which is very, very likely, I would say. Yeah, it's the best deck that he has against... Against probably... All three. At, at least two out of the three. Maybe the third as well, being the Mage. Um, maybe Mage is a little bit better against the Mage or the Hunter. Who knows? But it, regardless, Patron is very, very strong against all of OBYS's decks. Yeah. Man. Yep. I'm, so. I just want to forget about that game. <laughs> that so I'm just bad? go ahead and do it. <laughs> Goodbye, yeah, just, game from my memory. Just do it. <laughs> oh man. Well, hot form. A lot of anti aggro tools. And he should be A okay. We should get LBYS's hand here in just a moment. Yep. And we do know he kept Double Animal Companion off of the mulligan, so his plan was very clearly to coin one into the other. That's what he's doing so far. Interestingly enough, though, uh, Hot Form not going to respond with the Fire War X. He's just going to put out his own threat, which will get kill commanded. So it's going to throw LBYS off his curve a little bit. And now it'll get answered by a Fire War X. Yeah. LBYS does run the ooze. Oh! Yeah, he does! There it is! Not sure if it's... I guess it's relevant right now. You can't afford it, to save yeah. things. Yeah, the unstable will just makes it so awkward to develop board, but you kind of have to. The Shadow Thorn Tiger might put in some work. He's going to hold on to it. And unless he draws an owl, that unstable ghoul is going to clear his board and give him some armor and give him some cards. Yeah. He does run two owls. Yep. Pretty common choice in most hunter decks nowadays over like old things like Hunter's Mark. Uh, owl, much more flexible in dealing with Acolyte of Pain. Uh, in dealing with Unstable Ghoul and all those kind of cards. Yeah, so much better against patrons in general. Yeah. Because there's so many things that you want to silence. If you could run four cards, like in Pokemon of a right. certain type, uh huh. would you run four owls? <laughs> well, if the decks were 60 cards like they were in Pokemon, yeah. I, I would run four of everything that I run two of now, and I would just double down on my deck size. <laughs> yeah. You could literally run... just smash two identical face hunter decks together. I, I would run two Lothebs, which make, is a, a lifetime make... dream of mine. Mega face hunter. Yeah. Mega face hunter. Why not? Okay. Well. Wouldn't you? No. Oh. I just like throwing a bunch of one ups. Jeez. I'd run Gilvin Mechatorque. Oh, God. <laughs> but for what purpose? <laughs> Wait! What just happened? Why don't BYS give up damage? He could have ran in the two uh, Spectral Spiders. Would have given his opponent one more armor. But then he would get to attack face at, at worst with Lothab for five more damage and save a health on his Lothab. Uh, definitely seen some mistakes. Uh, obviously, a little rattled by some of the losses he's had. I mean, I understand that the third place match, it's a little disappointing to get down there and that it doesn't matter as much, but there's still money on the line. There's still Geico points on the line. Yeah. I, I think he'd be a little bit more focused, but, you know. I, I think, yeah, I think he's kind of just, like, mentally mentally out of it, maybe. Just like, yeah. man, 
I'm going to lose. I know I'm going to lose. I mean, he's just he's just playing his cards, man. Yeah, you do have to keep in mind, these guys did play for about eight hours yesterday. Um, and now it's all coming to not nothing, but a lot less than they, they wanted, obviously. The feature tournament is the goal for a lot of these guys qualifying for packs. Uh, you know, the, the money, the glory, all that good stuff. Yeah, the World Championship points. There's still World Championship points in the line, but both these guys already are guaranteed one, no matter yep. if you finish third or fourth. Uh, $50 difference between third and fourth, and uh, seven to five as far as Geico points go. So, Hotform, once again, as we said, he is one of the front runners for Geico points. So, yep. um, and it looks like he is just. He looks laser focused. He's like, I'm winning this third place. I yeah. want those Geico points. Yeah, I want that fifty dollars. Yeah, I think I think the Geico points are the really big deal for him. Like you said, he's in prime position to take down that trip to PAX. And I need to pre-order TGT. <laughs> I actually still need to do that. I I was thinking about that this morning. I was like, I don't want them to to remove the the card back because so far I've gotten every card back available. Uh, besides, like, the one from China. Yeah, the so, flame one. Yeah, I've got a... Uh, uh, no, it, it's, it's it's golden. Golden, and then yeah, yeah. There's going to be a Korean esports one, so obviously I can't really get those for now. Uh, but I've got all the other card packs, so I've got a perfect account. Need to keep yeah. it that way. Yep. Take my money, Blizzard. <laughs> Take it. Well, this game is... And this game uh, it's, is... it's 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 still putting along, but yeah. it's 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 all but over for LBYS. Yeah. Um, Hotform is like deliberating over his ten card hand, like how shall I end it? <laughs> yeah, there's, yeah, yeah. He's just gonna trade off. I mean, ooze is gonna come down, which it's gonna get oh, rid of the no. death fight. It's it's gonna delay the inevitable, but. Yeah, Ooze really not uh, as big of an impact in Hunter against Patron Warrior as you would want it to be. It's, uh, it's a lot better in decks like Druid, but in Hunter it really doesn't align with your strategy of playing things on curb and killing them. Yeah. So, Hopform is going to take third place in NA Qualifier number 7, so big congratulations to him. He'll go with $50, 1 World Championship point, and 7 Geico points. LBYS... Uh, a little bit of a, a bitter end for him. He's going to take fourth, which is still pretty good considering the field of opponents that were playing in the qualifier yesterday. He'll get five Geico points and one World Championship point. So five Geico points for him will be added on as well. He's He also played in the qualifier last week. So he does have a... Uh, uh, he's got a decent amount, but it's going to be tough for him. He's going to have to place pretty highly in, yep. in the qualifiers tomorrow. Yep, he's he got one shot. more chance starting tomorrow and... Again, it's it's time to put up or shut up. You know, if you this is one of the big events at PAX, and one more day to qualify, and one more feature tournament, it's all on the line. And speaking of that, up next we do have Silent Storm up against uh, Pesty. Uh, Come pesty. on, man! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pesty, Pesty. pesty. Yeah. Right. Uh, so whoever wins that is again going to be put into great position. Uh, they'll yep. get seeded into the feature tournament. That'll guarantee them even more Geico points. And it, it's all coming down to the line who can qualify for that PAX tournament. Yeah, it's going to be the last event that awards World Championship points, the last major event that award, awards World Championship points before the regionals for BlizzCon. So we'll jump into that finals in a minute, but we are going to take a quick two-minute break. Don't go anywhere, guys. The conclusion of NA Qualifier number 7 will happen right after this. Mm -hmm. 